Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel and we have another Delia for review which is not this one because this is a Cafe Olay so the Delia that we are going to review is none other than this one look at that guys it's so beautiful so this is my Nadia root look at that guys it's a pimbriated dahlia, cactus dahlia, and it's kind of reminding me actually of Cafe Ole from time to time. For me, it's like the cactus version of Cafe Ole because look at that, look at the color of this Cafe Ole, and also this one, this one unfortunately is, is starting to fade away. But this one, look at that, guys, look at this flower. I just waited for this flower to bloom like this because I feel this is on its uh, peak of its bloom. And I'm just so amazed with the color, with the size, and look at that, it's like really perfect circular shape. And it has an upward direction of, uh, of its bloom. And I'm just so happy with the very soft pink color on its tips. And it's just so beautiful to me, guys. And I know you guys can't wait to know the vital statistic of this um, flower, so let's start measuring it now so i have my tape measure in here and look at that so it's like 12 and a half it's like 12 and a half centimeter diameter so that's the measurement of its flower and let's see how tall this one is it's actually not very tall because i'll tell you what um, this is the history of that uh, dahlia before I measured. I used to plant it in here, in this small pot. And then, I think it was probably two weeks ago when I started seeing that it's giving me some buds already. Then I transferred it, I transferred it here in the ground. So now, let's measure the height of this dahlia. So it's like, let's say 54, 54 centimeter height. But I think it varies because let me just show you another one. I have another Nadia root in here because that Nadia root actually I actually bought bought only one Nadia root and I divided the the tuber. And here's another Nadia root in here and it's giving me um, another bud in here. So this is another Nadia root that I planted in here in the ground. Unfortunately, it's being covered by this um, my my partner called this one cheese plant. But I don't know what this one really is. But anyway, this is another Nadia root. And look at that. From the ground. It's like 82 centimeters. And here's another one that was actually flowering. I think I have a video of this one when it was on its full bloom. And this one is like, oh sorry, this one is around 72 centimeter height, so it depends, so here's another Nadia root in here by the way, and yeah, so I'm just very glad that I also divided this uh, Nadia root, because I didn't expect that this flower is gonna be that beautiful, and sorry guys, there are lots of, um, our garden is a bit messy nowadays because I'm still waiting for the construction to take place hopefully very soon in two weeks time as they have promised to us but then anyway guys look at that i am just so happy with this i'm just so happy with the performance i uh, would not performance but with the flower that i'm seeing right now from my nadiru i have another nadiru here actually but it was infested by um what do you call this one the powdery mildew and let's see if it's gonna survive but yeah hopefully it will survive and will give me also a nice flower like this one. Oh my god it's just so beautiful i didn't expect this one I actually because i had lots of dahlias already blooming and as you can see guys i have some more in here some more seedlings growing in here and i didn't expect that they're gonna grow like that so i had lots of that dahlias now here in our garden and there's a helicopter coming guys and i'm so sorry about the noise and let me just cut this one for the meantime 
Okay, then continue. Now the helicopter is gone. So yes, um, I'm just really happy with this deal. Yeah, I'm so surprised that I didn't expect really that the Nadja Root will give me this beautiful flower. It's just so beautiful. Just perfect size, not too big, not too small. Um, I think it still can grow bigger given the right condition. Unfortunately, I was not really able to give it to give that condition um, for this dahlia yeah, because as mentioned I, I planted this one initially in the pots because I was trying to propagate them um, I think I have a video when I was dividing my tuber so if you guys are interested to watch that um, video when I was dividing uh, sp yeah specifically this uh, Nadia root tuber uh, feel free to watch that video I will put that link down below in the uh, description section so I think um, that would be all for now guys and let me just show you also some photos of um, this bill, yeah. Alright guys, so I think that would be all for now but uh, by the way I forgot um, I would like to show you also that it also has pretty uh, decent size of um, flower stem so if you are thinking of putting this one as a cut flower on your flower vase um, I think this is also an ideal flower for that one and yeah so if you guys have any other questions or any suggestions about my videos or if you have any specific um, comments or would like to suggest about uh, my channel and about this deal as well if you have any comments please feel free to share it with me in the comment section down below and i would be glad to answer all your questions queries violent reaction or anything about my deal yes thank you very much guys and i will see you again on my next one bye for now